Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing this very beautiful, very pink, smoky eye makeup look. I just wanted to show you how you can make your dress look different by just changing the makeup and accessories. This is the dress that I had worn for my birthday in September, and I had worn it with a very beautiful and a fresh makeup look. But just adding some more makeup and accessories to the same dress, it can literally change the entire look of your dress. I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos. If you do, please. Please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and let's get started with today's video. I'm going to start off with the base makeup and first of all to add some moisture to my skin I'm taking my e.l.f. cosmetics daily hydration moisturizer and with just two bumps I'm applying it all over the face to give that nice hydration to the face. And then to color correct, I'm taking my Holy Grail. This is the Cover FX Correct Lick Orange Corrector, and with my finger, I'm applying it on my under eyes and around the eyes and around the mouth where I have some dark pigmentation. Also, guys, please take out a moment and follow me on my Instagram page where I share all my upcoming videos and more makeup related content. And now coming on to the foundation, I'm taking my NARS Shea Glow Foundation and I'm just taking out a very small amount of it on the back of my hand. And then with the help of my Pack Beauty Foundation Brush, I'm applying it all over the face. It's a really beautiful lightweight foundation and it gives a really nice and a dewy finish to the face. It's not a matte foundation, it gives a really nice and a glowy look to the face. It blends out like a dream and it is super 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 lightweight on the skin. It does not feel heavy or cakey, it does not feel makeup on the skin as well it just looks like your skin but better and i really 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 enjoy using this foundation For the concealer, I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is a cult classic and it is for a good reason. It's a super lightweight concealer. It is a potted concealer but still it is super super lightweight and gives a really nice almost a fuller coverage to the under eyes. It looks really nice on the skin. It does not cake or crease or look heavy on the skin and it just blends out like a dream and stays put throughout the day. I'm using my ELF Cosmetics Concealer Brush to apply it on the under eyes and the center of the face and I'm also also going to apply it on the eyelids because it will act as the primer for my eyeshadows as well. And then after blending out the foundation and the concealer with the brush, I'm taking my wet beauty sponge and I'm just running it all over the face to soak up any excess product and to even out the coverage. And then to set the face, I'm taking my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and with the fluffier powder brush, I'm applying it all over the face. It's a really nice and a lightweight and a very very finely milled powder and does a beautiful job at setting the face. It gives a really nice and a natural look to the face. It does not make your face look dry or powdery. Next, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows off the camera. And now coming on to the eyes, I'm first taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Berry Bad. And the first shade I'm taking is this lighter pink shade and I'm applying it all over the eyelids up to the crease. It's a beautiful berry toned eyeshadow palette and the color story on this eyeshadow palette is really really nice. All the eyeshadow palettes in this range from e.l.f. are absolutely stunning and each of them has a really nice and a unique color story to them and i absolutely love these eyeshadow palettes they are super super pigmented and super easy to work with next i'm taking this matte berry shade and with a smaller blending brush i'm applying it on the outer one thirds of the eyelids i'm also going to take it on the outer thirds of the crease just to deepen up the eye look Next, I'm taking this copper metallic shade and with my finger, I'm applying it in the center half of the eyelid. It's a beautiful and a super, super pigmented and a very nice and metallic copper eyeshadow and it looks really, 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 really beautiful. 
and then I'm taking this darker metallic pink shade and with my finger I'm applying it on the inner half of the eyelids it's a beautiful rosy pink metallic shade and I just love the pigment on this eyeshadow and lastly I'm going back in with the first lighter pink shade and I'm just blending in all the shades together in the crease Next I'm taking my Flower Beauty Kajal pencil in the shade Brownstone and I'm using it to line along with my upper lashes and on my bottom line. I'm applying it very close to my upper lash line and then using a smudger brush I'm going to just smudge it out and then I'll also apply it on my water line and then again I'll just smudge it out using the same eyeshadows that I've applied on my upper eyelid. I'm going to use the matte berry pink shade in the outer half of the lower lash line and for the inner half I'm going to take the metallic rose gold shade. Then for the mascara I'm taking my K-Beauty by Katrina Lala Lash Mascara and I am just loading up my eyelashes with this. This is one of my current favorite mascaras and it gives that really nice and dramatic length and volume to your eyelashes and make them look like four eyelashes. It gives them really nice hold and curl and it does not smudge or budge or transfer onto the under eyes and lasts beautifully throughout the day. And then to bronze up the face I'm taking my Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer in the shade Sunrise and with a fluffier bronzer brush I'm applying it on the hollows of the cheeks, along the temples of the forehead, along the jaw and on the sides of the nose. It's a really nice and a beautiful bronzer and adds a really nice glowy bronze to the face. For the blush, I'm taking my K-Beauty Matte Blush in the shade Soft Nude. This is a recent addition to my makeup collection but I absolutely love this blush. It is such a nice and a creamy formula. It's a powder blush but it looks and feels so creamy on the face and I absolutely love this shade. It's a soft nude pink shade and I'm in love with this blush. And then to highlight the face, I'm taking my OG MAC Cosmetics Soft and Gentle Highlighter and I'm applying it on all the high points of the face. It is a stunning champagne golden shade and it just makes you look like you're glowing from within. I just love, love, love this highlighter. Lastly for the lips, I'm taking one of my absolute favorites, this is the liquid matte lipstick from e.l.f. in the shade Praline. It is a beautiful nude pink shade and it is one of my absolute favorite shades from e.l.f. and one of my favorite formulas from e.l.f. It is a beautiful lipstick and it is super 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 comfortable on the lips and I absolutely love this shade. And well this guys is the final finished look. I absolutely love how this makeup look turned out. It looks so nice and chic and I love the berry tones and I absolutely love each and every product that I've used in this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. If you do please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.